These things come out of the blue sometimes, and when they do, you, you have to say, yes, we'll do it. And then you walk away afterwards and you go, how are we going to do it? And that leads us to be sitting in the bottom of the product development centre behind lots of innocuous looking doors, trying to piece together something which we'd like to see, and then hopefully it's going to be successful. We had about three months. When you look at that compressed timing and you work back and you realise how little thinking time there is and how much time there is to generate the data, that sort of gets us all excited. I think in reality we moved so quickly that we ended up a little bit ahead of the wave. We have a fantastic development process. It's, it's super high-end, it's super disciplined and it works at very, very high levels of tolerance. But here was an environment where we're in Michigan, Detroit, and our builders out in Arizona and uh, we met once, face to face. I asked for information on the light bar that we wanted to fit on the front of the vehicle. He said, leave it with me. You know, 20 minutes later, I got a photograph of the ground inside his workshop with his feet, with a light bar lying on the ground and a ruler measuring the cord length on this curved element. It was really basic, but it was enough then for us to, to get going. That's a really different approach than our usual you know, CAD-driven, you know, super professional level. So this is again not the sort of thing that we normally do but when you're trying to move really fast and you're trying to make the right decisions you know, as quickly as you can but uh, decisions that you can stick to, those are the sort of approaches that we take. So the livery was fun. We looked at trying to take that as it was and apply it to this new vehicle but it's too retrospective. You know, we need to bring fresh face to it. We wanted to bring a sense of dynamism to it as well. And I think slowly we've brought it together so that now we've got the, the key colours. When we put the two vehicles side by side, there should be a, a heritage connection, but there should be no doubt at all what, what is the, the modern version. I think being in here and doing something like this, which was totally top secret and outside of the normal system, just felt naughty. And as soon as you get designers who think they're doing something a bit naughty, then you start getting really cool ideas and progressive thinking. And we're trying and experimenting with our process in a way which I think is, uh, has been helpful. You don't need an ivory town necessarily, you just need the right group of people with the right thought in the right space. The whole project's been sustained on a level of just intense activity. I've never seen anything like it. People are so keyed into it, there's never enough. We're always moving forwards and it's not a question of trying to push the team. The team is pulling itself ahead all the time. It's exhausting. But you know, every morning the alarm goes off and you know you've got the best job in the world. <laughs>